Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tanuj. So in this channel, we will be starting a Mernstack series, all right, where we'll be building uh, an e-commerce uh, website right from scratch. Okay, so uh, to be honest, this course is actually not for beginners. So I expect you to have some uh, basic knowledge in uh, React and a little bit of Node.js and how ex actually Express works, all those things and uh, also like how actually the browsers actually work okay so i'm not going uh, right from the beginning so i expect you to have some kind of knowledge all right so uh, this is the e-commerce uh, website which we will be building okay so before i uh, get started i would like to give credit to one of my uh, favorite youtubers his name is uh, brad traversy uh, through him i got inspired to uh, build this project so definitely i you know i've taken many of his udemy courses and uh, you know i have learned a lot from him so definitely i would like to give a credit to him all right so this is the ui uh, of the project i know it's not the best uh, but just for learning purposes i haven't uh, focused much on ui all right of course you can just go ahead and uh, design them by your own so you can just see uh, right now we have six products all right so once we have more products we can also uh, we have also implemented a pagination all right so that we can navigate through different pages so let me just go ahead and uh, click on one of the products so let me just click this so we get the product description along with the image and uh, the quantity and also a button to add to the cart okay and all of this information is coming from mongodb which we will be uh, you know configuring and uh, loading all, all of our data into that now let's go ahead and add to cart and uh, you can just see we have the shopping cart over here it will show you all of the different products along with the quantity so let me just go ahead and add a few more products so i'll just add the smartphone okay let me just uh, order two of them add to cart and it will just show you all the different products that you actually ordered okay and if you want you can just go ahead and uh, remove them if you don't want and uh, let's go ahead and uh, proceed to checkout okay okay uh, right now i'm logged in so if i'm logged logged in let me just uh, log out and, uh, now if i just go to the cart and uh, proceed to checkout it's going to take me to the login page because i have not logged in and i'm not allowed to uh, you know uh, make uh, any kind of order without actually being logged in all right so if i just go ahead and uh, type uh, my credentials okay join at the rate email.com and uh, password okay and uh, once uh, my login is done, you can just see uh, we have used the uh, React Toastify for the toast messages. And uh, since in the URL we had uh, provided a next link such that once we log in, it will redirect back, redirect us back to this page. And all of this information you see is coming from the local storage, okay, that we have actually implemented, so that we don't have to, you know, every time uh, type uh, our uh, details over here. So let me go ahead and continue to payment. At the moment, we have only integrated uh, Stripe for payments. Of course, you can just go ahead and implement uh, other uh, payments like uh, PayPal, Razorpay, or anything like that. So you can just go ahead and continue, and it will give you the summary of your order. Okay, whatever uh, products that you have ordered, and your uh, payment method, your shipping address, and uh, finally, you can just go ahead and confirm and place your order. All right. So I am going to place my order. Okay, so now my order has been placed. You can just see these are the order details and this is the ID of the order, okay, which is a random string, all right, and it will give you the details. And uh, yeah, this is the order summary. And finally, you just need to go ahead and uh, pay with Stripe, okay. So that, that is what we have actually implemented. So you can go ahead and pay with Stripe. So this is the uh, interface that will open once you uh, click on pay with Stripe. It will show you the summary of the uh, products that you have ordered and you just need to enter enter your uh, uh, details. All right. So I'm just going to enter a few of them. So I'm just going to give my email ID. All right. I'm just going to type uh, email ID. So for card information, let me just uh, type in some dummy. Okay. Expiration date and uh, the CVV, the cardholder name, let me just change this to John, okay. And uh, here I can just give uh, the address to this and uh, country I'm going to select USA, okay. And uh, now if I click on pay, You can just see uh, our payment has been uh, succeeded and it will take me back to the home page all right and uh, now if i go to my uh, database 
uh, sorry if i go to the stripe developer account and i can just see the payment over there okay so if i just go to stripe so you can just go to uh, the developers account from dashboard.stripe.com slash test slash developers so uh, once you actually log in uh, you can just go to a payments tab here and uh, you can just see all of the payments that we have done you can just see uh, just now the payment uh, that we did that is from john at email.com that is uh, today's date and the amount that has been uh, paid and uh, the payment status that is succeeded okay so that is done and uh, what we can do now is we can just go ahead and uh, mark this as delivered either we have delivered the product or not so for that uh, we need to have an admin account okay so some users have been uh, um, given the role of admin and some are not some are just uh, regular users so let me just log in through my uh, regular account okay so let me just log out and uh, by the way you can also log in through uh, google okay so you also have a sign in option with google with, where we will also be implementing uh, google oauth uh, for uh, signing in which you usually see in other uh, web pages when you use for uh, like signing in so once have uh, once you ent enter all your credentials in uh, it will uh, uh, it will sign you in okay and uh, here you can just see i have another tab for admin because i am i am the administrator okay so i have control over the products the users and whatever the orders we get okay so if i click on orders so you can just see john do uh, just uh, made an order just now okay so this is a previous one that is two days back and uh, recently we have uh, made a payment of this much which we actually saw in the database i mean in, in the stripe dashboard so if i go ahead and view the details and uh, it, it says that the status is not delivered so if i can since i am an admin i have the option of uh, marking this as delivered so i can just uh, click on that and you can just see our order has now been uh, delivered okay so um, that's done and we have other options as well as an administrator you can manage all of the different products that uh, a user uh, must not be able to so we'll be creating all that and uh, you can just see we have uh, at the moment we have six products if we want we can just go ahead and uh, create a new product so it says uh, do you want to create a new products i'm going to say okay and uh, here you can just see it, it just creates a sample uh, product okay this is just a dummy product later we can uh, go ahead and uh, modify it okay so i can just go to the products and uh, click on edit so it will take me to the edit screen okay so where i can edit uh, the product okay so let me just give this uh, test product okay so price i'm just giving it 100 bucks and i can also choose image okay so we will be using a image processing library such as multer uh, in order to process all the images and uh, you know uh, put them into our database and uh, let me just uh, click uh, something okay so you can just see images uploaded successfully and uh, let me just give this a brand of uh, let's say samsung oh. all right so category let me say electronics all right and uh, let me give uh, let me say the count the count in stock okay of the products how much uh, how many products are there in stock that is uh, 10 products and uh, let's say this is the description of the product okay just something okay so so that we have some something and if i just go ahead and update the product so you can just see the product is now updated and we can just go and have a look so this comes with the image that we uploaded and this is the test product and uh, it also shows you the number of reviews and also the uh, price of the product okay so that's that's what we actually entered so now we can also uh, manage the users okay so these are the four users that we have and if i want to uh, like let's say click on uh, john if i want to make him admin i can just go ahead and do that if I want, I can, uh, you know, change his name, I can change his email address or so have uh, full control uh, over anyone's uh, user uh, details. And if I want, I can just uh, make him an admin and just say update. All right. So user updated. So he is uh, like have an admin. Let's uh, sign in uh, through his account. All right. So if I log out, okay. Now if I log in through John's uh, email ID. so you can just see now uh, john is an admin you can just see we have an admin tab over here so i can also write a review for uh, a product so let's go to this product and i can just write this uh, a review saying nice product 
okay and i can just give this uh, the how much our stars i want okay so i can just go ahead and submit review and it says uh, review is already submitted like uh, you can it will also tell you the number of stars you gave and uh, the comment and also by which uh, user his uh, username and uh, i can also like if i try to write another review let's say nice just like that and uh, if i try to uh, review this it says product already reviewed because i cannot uh, add another review okay so that's done and now we also have this feature of uh, you know searching products let's say if i want to search for uh, headphones okay so if i just type head it will show me all of the products that has the keyword called uh, head okay so this these are the two products that we found and also we can also search for uh, many other products all right also if i want to register a user you can just go ahead and click here on uh, register user so let me just give it a name of uh, let's say uh, steve okay steve and uh, let's give it an email of steve at the rate email.com so just a fake email all right and uh, the password i can just give this uh, a dummy password right and uh, if i click on register all right so the so the user has been uh, registered at the moment so if i just go ahead and uh, log in okay with steve okay and type in the password so you can just see now uh, steve is being uh, logged in all right so this is a uh, so this is what uh, it has been done and uh, also if uh, i forget my password in the future all right so so once you type in your email and then uh, click here on forgot password so an email will be sent uh, to this particular uh, uh, email address all right so for uh, managing email addresses we'll be using something called mail trap where uh, this is just uh, like a sandbox sandbox account to in order to you know uh, deal with the uh, emails and messages all right so let's go to that account so i have logged into my mail trap account so you can just see i have uh, four emails okay so by mistake i clicked multiple times okay so that's why it's showing me four things and it will give you the url such that you can reset your password so if i just go ahead and uh, copy this okay and uh, paste in here so you get an interface such that you can uh, reset your password so let me just uh, reset it to 12345 and uh, submit it okay so nothing happens actually so your password has actually been uh, reset okay so let's go ahead and uh, use the same password okay so now if i just refresh and uh, log in with the same credentials so steve okay it is 12345 and if i log in and you can just see it is uh, it is logging me in okay because i have uh, resetted my password to that particular thing all right so that's it uh, for uh, this demonstration i know we uh, i know this is a very big project uh, we will be using a lot of technologies like uh, redux toolkit uh, along with uh, redux uh, toolkit query which is similar to react query where we can uh, you know make uh, various kinds of uh, api requests to the backend and uh, we will be using uh, tailwind css in order to uh, design the uh, user interface okay and also we'll be using like uh, stripe for uh, payments and all okay so uh, that's it for this uh, video guys uh, so now let's go ahead and start building this project let's create a react app and uh, just take the very first step of you know printing out hello world and then we'll uh, get started on from then on all right so i'll see you inside